brought you back out here today to pull this 25 foot trawl net out on the waters of Beaufort, South Carolina in front of Harbor Island where I already see some dolphins coming in on us here this morning and you can see out here uh, the water is like glass guys we're hoping for a real really good day out here today um, the tide is full moon tide right now so we have come out here and on the dead high tide to get across a channel with our trawl net yesterday we come out here we rolled the net three times and you know that was a struggle a battle so we you know everything in the coast or around the coast is about the tides right that's the way we see it the ones that get to visit this area a lot your fishing and everything is did according to the tides so we're gonna get out here we're gonna show you guys some pull on this trawl net today whether we get them or not guys we're gonna stick with it we're gonna show you that's right let's get them stuff you ready let's get them y'all wish us some luck we hope we get them what else you been telling them i ain't got nothing else to say right now she ain't got nothing else to say right now so we gonna get off with you guys and we will come back on she's gonna be drunk that coffee and woke up a little bit and she's gonna be ready to go too right Steph? Yeah. let's do it we are surrounded by some other boaters out here today trawling Guess it those with the big commercial vessels out here. We are commercial, but we're just a co small commercial vessel. Just on a small scale out here, shrimping, pulling this trawl net. If you guys are interested in these shrimp trawling videos, you do need to have a license. You come out here and pull a trawl net. You also need a little captain's license. You chuck guys always need to check the rules and regulations for the things that you want to do in the area that you're going to be visiting. Everything's looking good. Our pool lines are spread out and our top rope is up above those so that tells me the top of our net is spread up, up wide open and our two doors are planing left to right. We're pulling in 9.7 foot of water right now and it couldn't be a more beautiful day. right here in Buford little bar you know you can go there and hang out uh, they offer some real good food deals for you guys that are looking for a good place just to hang out play a little pool maybe listen to some music check out the filling station right down here in Buford South Carolina right on Ladies Island you guys will like that place got a deck overlooking the water in the back such a beautiful area Ooh, look at that glassy water look at those salty reflections there and look at them right here I'm trying my best to video for you guys. I keep bringing you along. I keep doing my best to put in the effort. Stuff keep sticking with me. And uh, we're going to get them. We're going to get them shrimp, I'm telling you. I wish I could send them some heat. Especially those ones that are watching from like up north where you might be in colder weather or in Australia when y'all are in winter. Woo. Even though it's September, I feel like this might be the hottest day of the year right here today. 
and the reason it feels so hot out here now look around you see how the water is laid down it is very very calm we, we get very little wind here this morning and anytime it's like that in this area you're gonna you know feel that heat that humidity yeah we're used to that um, breeze off the ocean but whew, it's pretty scorching out here needed some iced coffee this morning definitely needed that but guess what we had hot coffee and now we're sweating from it right yeah making us hot well show them right let me see there right here so you guys may have heard people talk before about muddy waters i don't know if you can see the difference in the color of our water you can see we go through little sections where the water's a lot muddier. You can almost see it in the water. Very cool. So of course we like to travel over those areas and when people are like bait shrimping and stuff like that, they look for those muddy area spots because we don't want them shrimpies to see us coming. We're trying to sneak up on them and gather them up in our net. We're about to pull this trawl net right here. Well, before we pull the trawl net, I just wanted to mention one more thing, guys. When we're pulling the 25 foot trawl net, we're idling along at 3,000 RPMs with this 90 Yamaha. And we're only moving right now at 2.3 to 2.4 miles per hour. So it's a slow, slow ride across this beautiful area. But you know, if you're interested in shrimp trawling, Somebody's got to do it. Right, Steph? I don't know if they can see it on the camera, but watch back there behind us, like in the sun, you can see those dolls that come along. Yeah, we got the little boat right here, and they're set up a little different than us. They got the winches and all on the back, and they're pulling their trawl net. I think Mikey had told me that they're pulling actually like the net a little over 200 foot behind their boat, whereas we are only pulling. 120 foot of trawl line but we can see birds all over the top of their net and the dolphins and it is just gorgeous. awesome to see right it is gorgeous that is one thing these flat waters let you see across for a long way is this pretty beautiful let's pull it coming around to the tail bag buoy now to make a pull our first pull this morning with you guys on this trawl net I sure hope we got them still. We sure are trying. Oh man, I see a couple shrimp. I'm seeing a few shrimp down through here, but it's what's gathered in that tail bag that's going to matter. But first of all, guys, I have to get it where I can shake. Well, shrimp is in here on down in the tail bag. Hook our fish eye right here. Good little spot for us on this boat. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, what do we have? Let me get around there so I can see. Of course, you guys know we're in this small 17-foot boat, so we have to maneuver around. Not too bad. It ain't looking too bad. It's shadows. a lot better than it was yesterday, filing that net oh, yeah. the first three times. <laughs> yeah. My buddy, Philip McFerrin, he said, uh, Oliver, he said, dang, why don't you put that kind of stuff on YouTube? I was like, well, sometimes it does make it. <laughs> yeah. You got to watch the videos that know, right? I've told you guys, rough it ain't easy. You guys know it. I didn't hide anything from you. You want to come out here and try it, though? Hey, it's fun. I love it. It's, it's a gorgeous work. day it's, out here. It's effort. I mean, anything you do in life is going to be about the effort you put in, right? Yeah, most but, things that um, are good usually require lots of effort. Lots of effort and lots of money, too, sometimes. Huh? Which also requires, for most of us, lots of effort to get some money. <laughs> Let's look at it, guys. This is what you guys really want to see. I see the 
video analytics in our other videos and I know this is what you're waiting on, right? Wait, you want to see that? Oh, no, man. <laughs> Look at there, was some shrimp. Wow, that's a nice one. Wow. We're going to get this thing hooked back up and I'm going to give two guys a look at it as we sort it on the table. A lot of you guys are saying you want to see the more of the sorting table in the video. So guess what? We're going to show it to you. All righty. Let's do it. This will be a good one to sort while he's getting that tied up. Let me let you see this little fluke. And you can see it's got eyes right there, both on top of its head. This is a type of little flounder. Swim, little buddy. And they um, are very virulent. They even like, they'll stick to the side of this pan. And even after we're like through sorting all of that, those little guys will still be alive even out of the water. And these little spots here, we have our bait freezer full. So we're putting a lot of this bycatch back today. Almost everything other than the shrimp, right? Our bait freezer is full at the I'm moment hoping now guys i'm you know she's doing all that talking to you guys and all i can think about is hooking back to this trawl neck and get the pull and pull pull pull, pull. get back there <laughs> and i think about these little dolphins <laughs> drives them nuts but that's they're okay they're stealing our catch they're eating our catch well that's okay you got a give and take give and take we don't mind. Fifteen pounds of nice tails, you know, shrimp like this. Um, when we're really doing our sort, you know, we're trying to cull out this little stuff like this. You know, a lot of times, guys, we're just throwing this stuff overboard. We really don't have anybody besides some friends and stuff that want the little small shrimp. And well, actually, we do have a couple guys that are wanting some stuff, you know, to fish with. And we do try to give this shrimp, small shrimp away to our friends and stuff, guys, just to help them out because they love this. You know, a little something to give back to them. They're always looking out for us. So we're going to get back to uh, pulling, 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 and we're going to be deheading. I got these right here sorted out. Butterfish, a couple little types of jellyfish. This is the cannonball jellyfish, and I believe um, that's, I don't know if that's the moon jelly. No, I don't think that's the moon jelly. I don't really know which one this is just that bell shape and those little tentacles one of you guys that know y'all let me know um a glass minnow yeah he's dirty but you can see through cool him he's in there tra fish. translucent can you hold it up towards the sunlight a little bit and he's dirty from being in that net another little blow 
blowfish. The difference in the brown and the white trout. Since we do use a smaller net, we do catch some brown trout where some of the bigger nets um, for the bigger commercial boats, they are actually designed not to catch the brown trout. We do have the brown trout in our area, but we don't keep them usually. Um, they don't them. catch as many brown shrimp, but if they're big brown shrimp, they still right. get in those trawl nets, but you do have two net designs. One is uh, designed to pull for uh, brown shrimp and one is designed to pull for white shrimp. The one for white shrimp normally has what they call a bill on the net and the white shrimp uh, can actually move faster and come off the bottom faster than the brown shrimp. So when they jump up and you know that bill, they get hit, it hits the top of it kind of like if I hit this and the water coming through would blow them on back into it. So that's the difference in that, you know, how they draw for those white and brown shrimp here. I don't see this tail right here. I don't, let me, I might have to get in the shadows or in the sun. Let's try it both ways. I don't know which way they're going to be able to see it best. Probably right in there. I just hope it's not a glare, but y'all can see that um, pretty yellows and greens and blues on the tips of that tail, along with a very sharp barb needle point on the end of his tail as well as his horn on his face and so. man you try to rake your hands through a bucket full of shrimp and these things just like they look they are as sharp as a needle point oh yeah we get stuck we're pricked all the time and one thing that happens you can see right in my hand right there down in my palm so when i'm grabbing the shrimp and de-heading it a lot of time see that motion that's how you de-head a shrimp watch this one more time Look how quick it is. I'll do it again. So that's de-heading shrimp. But when I'm doing that, it actually, the tail little spike is coming back and hitting me in my palm. So we're going to pull, pull, pull. And we'll show you what we have on our next pull. Unless something exciting comes up that we want to just show you guys. On the trawl tail bag. It's heavy, so I hope that means there's something in it. You're working hard. Some shrimpies. I think we got a visitor coming up beside us too, a dolphin. Let me grab this for you, Steph. It already shook down to right there. You got it shook down for me? Yes, I'll right get it the rest of the way. Thank you. You're welcome. Appreciate it. You shake that. I'm on wrap that there real quick just to help hold us here come around oh look at this big boy coming in behind us isn't it pretty he's scooping up these big shrimp too oh look at that big skate to get out of the way the shadow is in it while he gets that untied see this little Gosh, swimming here. I think it's looking pretty good, guys. I see a lot of shrimp in here. Lots of shrimp. Big skate. Man, look at that little short tail. So I'm not worried about him as quite as bad as the stingrays. Yeah, I'm not even sure the skates actually have a barb so at all. So he's got a short little tail on him, so I'm just going to grab him by second. his nostril. Let him, let him see him. Yeah, he's big, big guy. That little tail. So I'm not sure if there's a barb there or not on the skate. I need to check it out and look it up. I know, I, I wouldn't like your fingers in my nose either. That's what the underside of him looks like. He's a little bit bruised up from being in the net. But you see, he's full of vigor and ready to get away from that dolphin, I bet. And I see something else buckling up under there, so see what that is in a moment let's get ourselves hooked back up and we'll show you guys what we got see this little flounder here and this type they are not as resilient so let me get him out quickly Ooh, look at that that's a beauty 
It is gorgeous. Not too sure which boat that is in our You, area. you, and you. All gorgeous people. Look at there. Gorgeous. Well, I guess only one's a person, technically. There's some people on that boat, I feel sure. <laughs> Looping back around, we'll get back hooked up to the trawl bag or the trawl net lines and get back to pulling. We're gonna pull, pull, pull. We're catching some trout and we're gonna keep pulling. Sort with you in a second. Hey, how many of you guys are ready for this uh, shrimp bait season? You got your poles ready, you got your bait. The shrimp are here. Come on down here to Buford, South Carolina, guys. The shrimp are here back up we're making a wide swing and we're getting out of this captain's way uh-oh and we have decided in, <laughs> from now on to grab these sharks and stuff with Get them on out of here. 
We're about to take another look in this trawl tail net bag with you guys. Third pool coming up. It's kind of like waiting to pull the crab pods. Oh yeah. And the dolphin is right there swimming behind you stuff loop it around right there I'll help you pull forward a little bit here's the floats on the front of our trawl tail net and the one you see in the distance is where we just dropped our pull lines and we're going to pull this tail bag on up And she's just being gentle with it. We just want to make sure that when we're pulling it, that we're not actually dragging those doors. Did you shake them good? Shake them good you sure? I don't know. I mean, I'm gonna shake them again. Yeah, grab it from right there. Okay. <laughs> now you did a good job. I just messing with stuff. Just hoping we got a big catch here to show you guys. We're hoping for a big catch. Uh oh. This one looks a little bigger than the last two so far, but. Oh yeah. Let's Be careful! See I see a stingray right there. Yeah. Really. Got it? Any help? Oh, let some of that water drain out, guys. Now, pull, get it on in here. Whew. That water weight makes a big difference also. And I'm imagining we got 40 or 50 pounds of stuff to go through here in the net. See lots of shrimp in here, though. That's what we're after. Thank God for them, right? That's right. I mean, we're That's putting what in we're the time, after. we're putting in the effort. We're pulling, we're pulling, we're pulling. And you know, we just love coming out here. <laughs> a couple of days a week doing this while the shrimp are here. You know, sometimes even maybe three days a week. Well, huh? we just love it. Here you go, guys. Look here. Here we go. Man, man, man. Gotta roll them out. That's what you call a big bag. Nice. I think that's a little better than what we've been getting. We're probably going to end up, that last pull, right we there, had escape. 10 pounds of de-headed shrimp. The one before that, we had 13 pounds of de-headed shrimp. And this one's going to average right up in that neighborhood. Maybe even be 15 if we're lucky. Mm -hmm. Can't grab him with that. And we're also picking out a lot yeah, of uh, the small shrimp for bait shrimp. And I think we probably already picked out, what, 10, 12 pounds of small shrimp? Oh, yeah. And this is just what we're talking about as far as the That's small trout. When I'm talking about the small shrimp. We sort them out. We keep these And to, when we're talking sell. about the small shrimp, that's um, the ones we actually, you know, that Pull is out. way too small. Oh, right. We're not yeah, even worried about that. But this size right here, we'll throw them to the side with the heads on. And that's actually some of the best ones to eat, but most people don't want to put in the time and effort to, to clean them. I keep them for ourselves every once in a while. That's what a popcorn shrimp would look like fried. We use them for bait. popcorn shrimp or what some restaurants may even call creek shrimp. That's right, it a creek shrimp. It would be the smaller ones. And if you ever get the chance to go to a restaurant, try those small ones. They just have a little bit of sweeter taste, right? Oh, yeah. 
Dolphins yep. are right here behind us. If he'll come back up. He was right in here. You need to get that gaff and get the stingray out, or you want to get that? You go ahead and grab it, Seth. He's hanging here, and that stingray. She's just trying to hook it about anywhere in its wing or anything. Yeah, I'm you just know, it'll hit any vital organs. I don't want it to hurt it. And we don't want him to hit your vital organs either. Definitely not. It happens. It does. We've seen some strange things. In the Facebook group page, guy had one barbed through his eyebrow right here, guys. Uh, he had a story of how it happened and stuff. And another guy out here, as he was pulling the trawl tail net bag in, it drove right through his whole forearm. So that had to be a big one. Um, got to be careful out here with these stingrays and different things that we come in contact with and that's why you see staff most of the time she's wearing the gloves the d head the shrimp i'm getting better at it learning a little bit from staff yeah the, there's, there's iodine in their heads and it bothers my skin so i don't want to have all pricked up hands and stuff and there's actually a lot of people that have allergies to shrimp right. because of the dye in them right. And then there's actually people who have a lot of what they have been told are shellfish and seafood allergies when really it's the, an allergen to the preservatives that get put on a lot of the commercial shrimp to be able to save it and keep it fresh for a length of time. But we're not putting any kind of additives on ours. No. Our shrimp are straight out the water. And we try to just go ahead and dehead them because it's easier for us to deal with them right. and store them in quart size freezer bags in our freezer. Whew. She's got her buoy that's attached to our lines again here, guys. And I'm fighting this boat, trying to keep it straight into this current. And I've kind of, when I drop my lines and stuff, I've always looked around, you know, to position myself like I'm pointing towards this bridge. I know I should be running that way and the island back there was in my background. So it helps me get back in the straight line to start off pulling this trawl net. We're a little tight on our left line over there, so I'm easing around to my right going towards it so it doesn't pull too hard now i see they're starting to spread back there a little bit i'll bring the lines around to the center of the motor back here as much as possible and we're going to fuel it and there we go there it went see that thing spreading out the two lines right here on your left side the one in the center is coming around and that is attached to that center where i showed you the buoys were on top of the net We're gonna pull. We're pulling. Got a fluke, a little flounder, another mantis shrimp. This is the last pull on the trawl net with you guys for the day. We have actually tangled the net up, so we've just decided to call it a day. Hey, so here we go. Let's take a look. Let's see what we have. 
We're actually going to be pulling it in a little bit different with you guys because we're loading the net up in the boat as we go. Got a big bag. Ooh. You may have to come around to the side. We may have to pull it to that side there. Can you grab that side of it? Help me slide it down the boat here, Steph. We're sitting tight in this little 17 foot boat, all this stuff on here, extra fuel and coolers and different things, but we're making it happen, right? That's right. That's the reason why. Where there's a I will, there's a way. Pull this thing. Don't put that big guy in there. See. We definitely don't want that guy the right there. See a Ooh. shark and a horseshoe crab. That's two a three and a half least. footer at least. Let's just try to get our basket right here. Trying to get all this other on this stuff opposite out the way. side. Hold this for a second. Just stand that up straight, Steph. Okay. Standing it up straight, see if we could have laid it right back where you know we usually put it. But I know that wouldn't work very really well. Right. Not with Steph. The way I did it worked out. No, we ain't gonna edit that out. I said the way I did it worked out. Oh, I, I put it right over there. You kind of said that kind of look. No. Can you grab that uh -uh, right there? No. Well, I, 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 no, uh -uh. I don't hurt my back. No, you're not. Just don't, don't let one of them stingray barbs get you. <laughs> See, I was going to let Steph get yeah. this big shark and hold it up and stuff. That's all right. You go ahead and I'll get do it. it today. I know you're going to do it. Yeah, because you're ready to pull the net in, so you well, get to, you get to do it for the last time. He said he wasn't taking the net back to the beach, guys, really doing it all over again. Nah. I mean, it's midday. It's time to go. We're going to end up with about maybe, what, 40 pounds of deheaded shrimp, if we're lucky. And that's good enough. Yeah, that's good. That's good. You know, some days we don't even do that well, so... Hey. Yeah, I know all you guys who fish. Sometimes, you know, we fish and never even get a bite. So, 40 pounds of shrimp. Ooh. We can't complain about that. I should start losing some weight here soon, <laughs> I'm telling you. We'll see. I think muscle weighs more, so you probably won't. Well, if it was muscle, I wouldn't be that bad. Don't stick your hand down there by that shark mouth mm -hmm. now, stuff. I'm just trying to you show them this horseshoe the crab. Oh, he's gone. Hold on, let me let him. I'm gonna aggravate you for another minute, fella. All right. And I'm gonna let y'all see exactly how they walk. They kind of hop up and down. You can't get a good grip on the edge of the boat. He gone. Can you give it a gas off the floor, stuff? Sure. It's right there. Yeah, because you got everything all around right. here now. Look at this guy here. Wow, no wonder I didn't even notice it, but there's two of these guys in it. What? You did? You said that? I didn't hear it, but I'm sure I will edit it in the video. Yep. Sometimes that's what helps me. And I'm gonna have to pierce his lip. Sorry, guy. Oh, he got a shrimp. He got one of oh, my shrimps. Oh, he You got a pierce lip and you got one of my shrimps. Uh, and he's perfectly fine. <sighs> Yeah, you see me no wonder them. you know i had such a time lifting this thing look at it look my shrimp go was it that shark that came back up just then? that was not the shark that was actually a dolphin right there by the boat oh Ooh. he's trying to get you oliver he's trying to get you see that that's what i'm telling you guys i always have these gaps and stuff and um don't be playing around with them too much i'm just get it. I got him right here in that top. Oh Lord, he can really swing no all around. And see, he's trying to swim on off. He's ready. He's in good shape, guys. He wagged his tail. That dolphin gave you a blow. So we thank got some you guys so much for coming along on another video with us. If you like videos like this, you like content like this, always make sure you give the YouTube video creators a like and if you love them hit that subscribe button look at there